Hey everyone, this is Gary with Easy Go Junk Remover. I hope everybody's doing good. It is hotter than hell here. In fact, it may be hell. <laughs> it's supposed to be 108 degrees. Uh, it's the beginning of June and we're already in that season. Yesterday wasn't only hot, it was muggy. And uh, so the humidity was a real thing. And so I, I have been really preparing myself. I'm drinking a lot of uh, electrolytes first thing in the morning drinking a lot of water before we hit this heat and then i'm trying to shut down the business on the heat of the heat of the heat of the heat you know what i'm saying so i wanted to just touch base with you uh the other uh, about a week and a half ago or so um, nearly two weeks ago uh i had a customer call me and uh, they had me haul away a uh a patio set that was dilapidated and ready to go and a couple nightstands that weren't ready to go and we were we repurposed those kind of things and so when I got home I, I felt something slide in the uh, the nightstands and when I opened it up there was a binder and the binder was full of Morgan silver dollars uh, gold piece um, other uh, other collectible uh, buffalo head nickels things like that and uh, piece piece money uh, all kinds of all kinds of money. And I thought about it for about a minute and then turned around and said, Hey, that's not mine. And that's not, uh, that would be ill gotten for me. And so I called the guy and I said, Hey, today's your lucky day. I got good news for you. And he goes, what is that? And I told him, I said, Hey, I have a binder full of money here and it's got a, a $5 gold piece, which is worth, I looked it up actually. It's worth about eight, 900 bucks, just that piece, not to mention all the gold. I mean, the silver Morgans and the piece, uh, dollars and uh, there was even a large uh, dollar bill uh, the old school and it was a silver certificate kind of cool you know and if you added it all up between fifteen two thousand dollars worth of stuff but it wasn't mine it was like you get called in and everything goes and it's a clean out and then you know if you find something cool you get to keep it right and so it's not like that and so I called him up and he goes oh, that's unfreaking believable that you would do that and not for me though um i think me and joe run our business uh, very ethical and uh we don't want anything that is ill-gotten and that would be for our uh, our reasons ill-gotten and i don't even know if the guy would ever even know it doesn't matter i would know and so that's the way we do business i got a really nice review he kind of stated it and stuff and i'll take that and that was a very good a very good review so on top of it you know, we get so much stuff in this business. Um, we are able to donate. We are able to gift things. We are able to sell things. The other day, a customer, a repeat customer, probably worked 12 times for, calls me up and I have something for you. And I go over there and she's got a third generation Glock 19. Never been fired, brand spanking new looking. And uh, I asked her how much. And she goes, no, no, I, I want you to have this. And if I would have taken the gold, the silver and all that kind of stuff, then I'd be kind of crapping on the things that come our way. And so I don't, I don't know what you all would do, but for me and my house, that was not ours and I didn't want it. And it goes back today because that customer has called us back and he's now a repeat customer. He'd probably be a customer for life, right? So that's, that's kind of what I'm talking about. I'm talking about making life happen and making, um, making the best out of the situation, making life better for our customers. It's not just about uh, great service. It's about integrity. It's about being honest. It's about making a difference. And that's what Easy Go Junk Removal is all about. So anyway, just a quick video. Hey, hope everybody is making some money. Take care, guys.